We got the wash tall tournament coming to you for the uh, aluminum outlaw bass club uh, we did pretty good um, we went out there had a good day of practice uh, you had been out well we've been going periodically throughout right. the year wash is right here in our backyard so uh, hence the name wash tall bassin but uh, yeah we I think this was our only we only had one full day uh, and it was a little different we actually camped this time yeah so yeah, uh, yeah. it was a little bit different but yeah, we, we fished fine. all day yep so anyway so we had the uh the one day of practice on this tournament um which is more than enough and it seems like half the time our our practices don't always align with tournament but that's just part of fishing <laughs> um, we, we made a plan we stuck to it and it and it worked out pretty good um you know i don't i don't think we missed any of the bites to win we might have missed a couple of bites to move up a little bit it was raining and all that, and that wasn't really what was bothering me, but I was flipping and pitching, making a lot of really, really accurate casts, um, and the, there was just a little bit more wind, and those clothes on me had me about wanting to rip my hair out because, you know, the pressure of whenever you're fishing at a tournament, you know, um, just all those things combined. It was a little tough for me up until about 10 o'clock, and I did lose, a, miss a lot of bites, and that's what caused my, my frustration, so you never know, you know, because I've had some of the smallest bites be the biggest fish, but yeah. still, no matter what, you know, we found some good fish, we had a good, uh, we had a good placing in the, in the tournament, and, uh, you know, we're pretty happy with it. Uh, we played around with some things in practice, but the main thing that we saw um, stuck was the peanut butter and jelly rage bug, kind of casting and reeling that Texas rig, kind of more like a, like a swim jig, and yep. uh, we had a lot of really good results off of it, um, but, uh, I mean, it's 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 a pretty good uh, pretty good amount of some some hammer and hook sets. Oh yeah, um, definitely not short of uh, hook sets yeah, in this one. Yeah, y'all uh, are y'all are gonna enjoy this one. I'll tell you that. All right, guys, and before we get into it, uh, if you've been enjoying the content, go ahead and leave us a like down below. And if you're not already, please consider subscribing. It helps us out a ton. Uh, the channel's been growing pretty steadily over these last few months, and we want to let you know that we appreciate uh, all the support and comments and just feedback that we've been getting from you guys. We're getting to a point where we're trying to turn these things over a little bit quicker. Yeah. Um, but again, make sure you're following us on all of our Instagram, uh, both of our Instagram accounts, both the James Edmonds Fishing account and the Washita Bassing account. Uh, that way you can kind of stay up to date on all of our day-to-day. -day. This guy fishes more than anybody I've ever seen. So if you're wanting daily fishing content, this is the place to go. And if you're wanting every other day, then you know between the two of us, you'll get plenty of content yeah, that way. For sure. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. This is going to be stop number four. Uh, and like James said at the beginning, this is with the Aluminum Outlaw Bass Club, Lake Washita. Y'all stick with us. <coughs> Swimming that crawl, son. Swimming that crawl. 
Yeah. Yeah, I was watching a uh, Bill Dance video the other day. And this guy. This guy. Ooh, nice. A little better. A little better. There. Hey, that's decent. Heck yeah, dude. You got him? Watch your rod. Don't break your rod. Holy cow. Hey, that's a good one, bro. Good one. On the swim jig? Yeah. All right. Come on, Chuck. Feels really good right here. This would be a good Carolina rigging point. Yeah, I'm getting chewed on right now, dude. Oh, is that a good one? Yep. He's not bad. He's not two bad. pounder. On that shaky head, <laughs> I got that rat. Should I throw that rat lure at some point in time? It's a crank down too, you know? It's an actual crankbait. A little stain in the water back here. That's a giant, bro. That's a real giant. I don't know. Yep. 401. God, why does it look like a five pounder? I mean, I was thinking it was at least 475. Just the frame of it, bro. The frame of it's a good yeah. fish, man. It's a good fish. Good fish. Bye. Got one. Yeah, that's a good one. Hold on. Let him work himself out. There you go. Oh, yeah, buddy. That's that peanut butter and jelly, son. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. All right, we got to get out of here. We got to go. We got to go, Mark. Found her. There she goes. Bye. I can usually catch him from the bank around this buck brush over here. God, dog. Dang it. <laughs> well, there's that. <sighs> this is what I get for coming up here, though. Another two and a half. <sighs> Not a bad fish. Bye. I caught a four pounder, a couple of two and a half, a two seven. He shook off like a three something. <laughs> that are gonna tell you. Oh yeah, I hope so. <laughs> it ain't kicked on yet, but so I know I at least got the plug in. They know it's easy though. That's what it is. Come in. Hot bread, pop. Jumping that water, man. Get a little bit of meat, wrapped in bacon. Keep it up, bro. I'll put it out of here. You know when the pop is on there, please, I want to.
<laughs> All right, that makes you look at him different. That's what that, that's him? That's him. Oh that's the one. Get him. <laughs> Get him. Put them in the boat. Number one, son. Where you go, number one. Swimming. Swimming. Hey. Yes, sir. Got one in the box. Pull it off. There's one. Is that a bat? That's a picture. That's a trash, dude. Yeah. Yep. You got a trash, dude. We got a little trash fish. Trash fish, baby. <laughs> I'll tell you this, between here and we've got, I know we didn't work a lot of these little pockets. And then I think the other place would be up in this big This is it right here, I think. Up over here. Yeah, you lost that one back there, and this is where, and yeah. You or one right you're there. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we need to go up in that creek arm. 
There's one. He's not he's not massive. He's not massive. Boy, he sounded like it, didn't he? You go? Yeah. Might be a keeper. Well, it's not like what we're looking for, but it's a bite. Dude, I'm surprised we ain't got more bites back here, but God, dude, just like a four, four or five pounder out of this stuff right here would make it so freaking worth it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not digging this branch. Now, if we work up here, we need to work a little bit of this buck brush up to like the trees because they, oh my God. That's a giant. That's a giant. Where you going with him? Oh, other side. Oh, over here. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him in the net. I'm not feeling this side too much. <laughs> but then I just said too that we needed to finish it out just to see. <sighs> Dude. Yes, sir, bro. Okay, so that in this, dude, I've had every single one of them hooked in the same exact spot right here, bro. Every single one of them. I thought it was like a five or something, bro, the way that it was running. The way that it thumped me too, bro, it's just thump, and then my line was a foot sideways. Like it hit me doing 40. Looks real good back here. <sighs> let's go baby let's go baby let's go that's a two two and a quarter oh <laughs> what about seeing me wrench him out of there bro oh man dude he tried to muscle me out or muscle me to the side it's funny how i'm in a better mood now that i'm catching fish well, I call this a good pocket now. Yeah, I'm glad we got our limit, but I still want to see you pull a giant out of here today. Yeah. I wouldn't mind pulling a couple more too. This one's for you. people that have showed up and launched out of here. Snaggle City over here. There's one. Big as oh my god, dude! How big? Probably at least a two. At least a two. 
I saw his side wall broke. No good. What a solid. Alright, give me that red one. That red one in there is the smallest. That was flipping too, by the way. That was such a solid. What's that, dude? I was like, good God. Dude, look what it did to my line, though. Oh my God, dude. Afraid. Here we go. Little guy off the boat. Dude, his colors have changed since we called him. Yeah. He's a lot prettier now. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to your new home, new area. That'd be the green one. There it is. Yeah, at least I can't shake out. No, that's definitely not bigger. No, definitely not. No way. Bye, fish. 100%. Dude, <laughs> couldn't have been big. I let him have it, dude. Where's old big mama lurking? Come on, man, one more. We need another upgrade, dude. We need like another solid three pounder. <laughs> Dude, did you see the little pickerel jump? Huh? Did you see him jump? Did you see it? No. You didn't? No. It was a tiny, tiny little pickerel, bro. I pulled him out the water about a half a <laughs> I mean, it wasn't no longer than like my hand, man. Yeah. What time is it? 2.56. You're still in their rod sleeve. <laughs> yeah. That's 
an upgrade. <laughs> Bro, in eight foot visibility. You know what I'm saying? I think it works. <laughs> All right, man. Just throw them in the bucket. We'll figure it out when we get over there. All right, time to go. <clears throat> I think we did all right for a couple of guys with nothing but basically using the temperature. Right. <laughs> I don't want to leave, bro. I'm gonna hey. Stop fishing. No. <laughs> he said, I'm done, bro. I'm not fishing till tomorrow, bro. <laughs> I'm not fishing till tomorrow. Seven. We got at least seven pounds in between those three fish. Hey, who's that? You ain't got no squeakers. I mean, oh my god! Eleven forty. There we go. Good cool. job, guys. Thanks. Fourth place, dude. Good I'll job, take it. Man. Heck yeah. Good job, man. All right, guys. So as you saw, uh, that was two days that was our practice day as well as the tournament day and like we said at the beginning we actually camped for this one uh, which we thought was going to make it a little bit convenient but it actually ended up presenting a whole new list of, of possible oh, issues. Uh, it started storming probably seven or eight o'clock yeah. uh, that Friday night before the tournament and um, we were fine all of our you know clothes and everything we were fine we were staying in a tent with our buddy Richard uh, shout out to Richard he's Shouts got a out. massive tent um, we were staying in a tent with him and um, you know so we stayed dry you know no big deal but you know after a full day of fishing those trolling motor batteries needed to be charged more than anything and uh, one of them got fully you know recharged but with the rain and everything something happened something shorted out one of the the uh, battery chargers uh, and it, it, don't, it didn't charge one of the batteries yeah. so uh that was fun we dealt with that really it really made a difference right at the end we had some spots we had some spots we could have really really covered uh and and double back on but we didn't have the trolling motor. we just like, didn't have the trolling on, motor on five i mean it was just it was yeah it was just nothing. enough to barely move the boat and we and we got to a point where for things like going and getting unsnagged or pushing through some bushes, <laughs> oh we actually had to fire up the big motor. Yeah. Uh, and you see that in a little bit of that in the video. It made it a little bit more convenient. We were able to sleep like an extra 20 minutes <laughs> Sunday, Saturday morning. But other than that, it yeah. was uh, it ended up just being one of those crazy, you know, off the wall things that's hard to plan for that when you think you plan for it, it just something changes and like i said we we even had it you know everything was pretty well covered uh we we had fashioned Stitching a tarp cords yeah was with, the main problem yeah, i right. thought you in between you and richard i thought i was like they've got it covered you know they've got yeah. they've got everything covered and i even told you i told you i had one i told yeah. you i had i had a, yeah. another 50 foot that i well, was going to grab and i just forgot that i actually have one in my truck that i didn't <laughs> that i didn't i just forgot about it I, but yeah so we went out Day one, practice day, we uh, we figured a couple things out. We stuck with our bait that we had, you know, kind of already had an idea that it was going to work mm -hmm. just based off of the history that we had with it. Uh, and then practice day solidified that for us. So we started out on tournament day with those baits. And we're getting bites fairly early. Um, 
but man, we were just so bundled up with, you know, we, it was cold on top of raining. So we had jackets to keep us warm. And then we had our rain jackets on top of that. So it was, uh, it was yeah. not the ideal, um, somebody who has any kind of sensory issues, they would be very easily <laughs> overwhelmed yeah. with just the, the, the little things that were just adding to the frustration. Some things that as soon as I took off all them clothes, I was just like, I can oh breathe for God, the first time. I can time. fish. I can breathe. I can. I, I, I can. I can do things again now. Yeah. So, um, but other than that, you know, we had a we had a pretty good time that day, um, flipping and and casting that Texas rig around. Um, you know, a lot of key bites just coming off of throwing it over some brush and just sitting there reeling it up. You know, a couple inches under the water over a couple of branches, bumping it into stuff. Bumping it into stuff is real key, especially yeah. if it's like a buck brush uh, bush actually sitting there. You know, you hit one of those branches and it shakes and it sends off vibrations. And if there's a fish down there, even it if it didn't, attention. even if it didn't see your bait, you know, that's gonna that's gonna kind of trigger it. And if it is sitting there actually looking in that direction, it's gonna trigger it even more. Actually, one of them that I had to wrench from out of the back of some bushes, y'all. Y'all just saw that. That yeah. was that was a fun little catch. I wish I could have put the whole limit together like that. I tell you. Yeah. Um, but uh, that would have been fun. That would have been fun. That would have been yeah. a great video. Maybe we'll figure it out one day like that, <laughs> and we'll we'll uh, get it all on camera. So. Yeah. And like you said, we were we were switching back and forth between swimming that Texas rig, uh, Texas rig rage bug, and flipping and pitching it. And uh, we were going back and forth so much that going back and looking at the footage, there was times where we said that we were, hey, we were flipping or, hey, we were swimming at that time, and it was the opposite. So, I mean, that just shows how, you know, I mean, we were literally going back to back, almost one cast to the next. And you look at it, and you can kind of see the, the, the idea was we'd, we'd cast down and kind of swim it in front of the brush, and then as we got to the brush, kind of, you know, make more, you know, mm -hmm. just really picking apart yeah. uh, everything that we were casting that and it didn't always land a fish but uh the fish that we did hook into mm -hmm. most of them made the bag that day it's it's hard to switch off of something yeah. looking for a big bite when you know the bait that you're throwing gets big right, bites right and it's you know and like i said it gets the, a lot of bites too it gets man. a lot of bites too it's and and majority of them are, are at least keeper size yeah. you know yeah. at least 13 yeah, 14 inch you get or a, better you, get a, you can catch squeakers on it but it's, yeah. it's not it's not too often if you haven't tried it try it out specifically that color man i swear by it Peanut um, butter jelly, baby. Yeah. Um, Peanut butter it's, jelly. It's it's something that we fished on a bunch of different lakes, um, and it's 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 definitely a, a color that will will catch them. And if you live in Central Arkansas at all, just throw that peanut butter and jelly. It's just a real natural presentation. Everything's nice and compact. We peg the weight, three sixteenths weight. Mm -hmm. um, I go with a green pumpkin tungsten on the front tungsten, so that way it's nice and compact. Uh, yeah, I use a three aught uh, Hayabusa. Uh, it's a 959 WRM. It's a it's a three aught heavy duty uh, extra wide gap. That's a, a HD, which is a heavy duty hook. And uh, man, I I'll tell you, I have rolled the point on on one of them just a little bit. I don't know what it specifically was on, but compared to some Gamagatsu's, the the Superline HDs that I have fished, um, I've bent those pretty bad on the tip. And uh, you know that can that can be frustrating to deal with. You lose a fish and you come back and you realize your hook's bent. Um, but those WRMs, I'm telling you, they have actually really, really improved my game just overall. Just as far as my, you know, bite to, to catch ratio has absolutely went through the roof. Um, this was one of the very, uh, seems like the very few that we actually go out, figure something out on practice day and it works the second day <laughs> on tournament day. Yeah. Uh, but we were able to put together a, a decent little bag. We weighed in 1140, uh, which put us in fourth place for the day. Uh, first place uh, went to Curtis and Nick at 16 pounds even. Second place at 14 pounds even with a 465 big bass that went to uh, Jesse and Bubba in the club. Shout out to Uncle George. They took third place with 1395, and then there was us uh, in fourth place with 1140. Um, the rest of the guys did all right. I think there was just a couple of guys, uh, just a couple of guys actually blanked that day. So was, across the board, it was an okay day for most people. Uh, but fourth place actually sent us home with some baits from Brazalo. I've been using their Bushwhacker buzz bait. Uh, this is just another one of their buzz baits. Uh, but I've been using their Bushwhacker, uh, so it's actually not in my bag. It's somewhere in the boat right now. <laughs> big shout out and a big thank you to uh, the guys over at Bazalo Custom Baits. 
Um, that was our second bait bag of the year. If you remember in our Conway video, we took on home. That one was for dead last. Yeah. And we actually didn't get dead last, but we were the last people right. that weighed in fish. Right. Everybody else that below us weighed in. Lowest weight. Right, lowest weight, exactly. Yeah. So uh, that was our second bait bag. We actually ended up getting another bait bag at the next tournament, uh, which will be on Lake Brewer. So mm -hmm. stay tuned for that one. That one's coming soon. Um, as I said at the beginning, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and leave us a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It helps us out a whole lot. And yeah, put us a, a comment down below. Let us know maybe what you want to see. Are you tired of seeing tournament videos? Do you want to see just us doing some fun fishing? It may give us an excuse to actually go fun fishing. So let us know in the comments. <laughs> We'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, speaking of the support, guys, both the Washita Bassin and the James Evans Fishing account are getting very close to a thousand followers mm -hmm. on there. Yep. Uh, we're going to be time. doing another giveaway. We've, been, we've done two already on our live streams. Mm -hmm. If you haven't been watching our live streams, make sure you check those out. Uh, but we've already done two giveaways on our live streams sponsored by James Fenced Insulation and more. Uh, this next one is going to be more from the team for the bigger giveaway. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, that's about all I got. That's it, dude. Hey, see you on the next one. Y'all stick with us.